Yes, I'm ready. Good morning. This is Paula at the Giadone Library, and this is Paula's Picks. Today, I'm going to read stories about snow. Very appropriate, because we actually got a snowstorm, didn't we? So the first book I'd like to read you is called Toys Meet Snow. And it is written by Emily Jenkins. And it is illustrated by Paul O. Zielinski. It's called Toys Meet Snow. But it also has a subtitle. Being the wintertime adventures of a curious stuffed buffalo, a sensitive plush stingray, and a book-loving rubber ball. So let's see what this book is about. Lumpy is a stuffed buffalo. Stingray is a plush stingray. Plastic is a rubber ball. She can't help it that her name doesn't match her body. They all belong to the little girl, but she has gone away on a winter vacation. They're alone in the house. It is the first snowfall of the year. Why does it decide to snow? asked Lumpy. Because the clouds are sad and happy at the same time, says Stingray. She is more poetic than factual. No, it's what rain becomes when the temperature is freezing, says Plastic. I read about it in a book. Remember, she likes books. Let's go out, said Lumpy. I'm curious. Yes, said Stingray. It's beautiful. Snow, 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 said Plastic, bouncing. I've read about it, but I've never touched it. I need a hat, said Lumpy. He is often cold. I need a plastic baggie, said Stingray. She is dry clean only. Poke me some air holes. I don't need anything, shouts Plastic. She just goes natural. And so, with no small amount of effort, look at those pictures. So they're here, and they're trying to get open the door. They all fall, still trying. Finally, they've got the door open. So it took a lot of effort. The toys go out into the snow. Is that a different tree, asked Lumpy. It looks like a different tree than before the snow came. It's turned into a candy tree, said Stingray. It tastes like peppermint. No, it's the same tree, said Plastic. I recognize the branches. What do you think snow is exactly, asked Lumpy. It's a blanket of peace over the world said Stingray. No, it's frozen water, said Plastic. I read it in a book. I mean, what is a snowflake? asked Lampy. A snowflake is a tiny ballerina, said Stingray. If you look closely, you can see it dance. No, it's just really tiny frozen water, said Plastic. I read that too. <laughs> it is not easy to build a snowman. Snow angels are easier. Can you tell which one made which mark? I think that's Lumpy. I think that's Stingray. Look, looks like a Stingray. And then look at the plastic ball. <laughs> That's her snow angel. Lumpy finds icicles on a fence. Stingray finds a puddle that is frozen solid. Plastic finds a forgotten sled on the top of the hill. But the day begins to fade. 
What is a sunset? asked Lumpy. It's strawberry syrup pouring over the world to make it sweet before nightfall, explained Stingray. Plastic doesn't say anything. She is thinking. Brrr, I'm cold, said Lumpy. My tail is wet, complained Stingray. Her bag is leaky. Snow, 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 cries Plastic. I'm a strawberry syrup sun in the snow. Inside, the house is dry and warm. Outside, the tiny ballerinas have made a blanket of peace over the world. The strawberry syrup sun has long gone down. And yes, the world is sweet. <laughs> that is such a sweet book. I like the stingray who's dry clean, so she has to have a baggie. Now let me read you about a snowman, or is it about a snowman? One Snowy Morning, written by Kevin Sang, illustrated by Dana Wolfcott. One Snowy Morning. One snowy morning, two friends found the oddest things stuck in a giant pile of snow. Look at these long wooden legs and lumpy kickballs. It's a tall rowboat with a gold anchor. Hooray, a grand theater curtain for a pair of fish puppets. And there's a rare dragon tooth and six small shields. They wondered what all this stuff was for. Then they figured it out. Did they figure it out? It took one lumpy kickball and part of a wooden leg. And a lot of know-how. to cook a pot of dragon tooth soup. The tall rowboat turned upside down was a perfect table. The grand curtain made a lovely tablecloth. The gold anchor was a neat candle holder. The six small shields were very pretty plates. And the pair of fish puppets? Well, they were amazing hats. This soup is delicious. Did they say dragon tooth? Do you taste nutmeg? The party was a big success. But afterward, the two friends wondered, what if someone else had been planning to have a dragon tooth soup party? So the very next morning, they returned almost everything to about the same place. <laughs> So they didn't know what a snowman was. Silly, silly little things. Let me read you a story called A Kitten Tale. It is written and illustrated by Eric Roman. A Kitten Tale. There's the kittens. Once there were four kittens who had never seen snow. 
Snow scares me, said the first kitten. When winter comes, the snow will fall and fall and will be cold. Freezing cold, said the second kitten. Cold to the tips of our tails, said the third kitten. But the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. When spring rains gave way to long summer days, the first kitten said, today is sunny and warm, but someday snow will fall and fall and will be cold and wet. Soaking wet, said the second kitten. Wet down to our boots, said the third kitten. But the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. When autumn winds ruffled the trees, the first kitten said, soon the snow will fall and fall. We'll be cold and wet and snow will cover everything. Piles and drifts, said the second kitten. Heap to our whiskers, said the third kitten. Still, the fourth kitten said, I can't wait. Then one winter morning, the kittens woke to snow. Look at how they're heightened. But the fourth kitten didn't hide. He jumped and rolled and laughed. Snow, it's cold and wet and it covers everything. We'll be right out. I can't wait. <laughs> so they found out that the snow wasn't dangerous, huh? They were so worried. So let me read you the last book. It's called The Thing About Yetis. And it is written and illustrated by Vin Vogel. <clears throat> the Thing About Yetis. This is a little Yeti, if you don't know what he is. The thing about Yetis is that Yetis love winter. They love waking up on a snowy and quiet morning and drinking hot chocolate with their favorite stuffed toy, which is a little Yeti. They love sliding down hills on their bottoms, building big snow castles, and pretending they are Godzilla. They love ice skating Yeti style. Yetis make the best snowballs on the planets and the best snowmen too. But sometimes winter can be tough, even for a Yeti. After all, Yetis get cold too, really, really cold. And when their snowy fur finally dries, it gets a little poofy. On those days when Yetis just can't get warm and the box of hot chocolate is empty, Yetis can get downright crabby. So here's a little secret for you. The thing about Yetis is that sometimes they miss summer. They miss playing outside for hours and hours on long, sunny days. They miss looking for little creatures by the sea and having sea monster beauty contests. Yetis miss building big sand castles and pretending that they are Godzilla. They miss zipping down splashy slides 
on their bellies. They miss wishing on a shooting star and glowing light shows of hundreds of fireflies and the sound of crickets on warm summer nights. The thing about yetis is that yetis love winter because on the very coldest, wettest, windiest winter days, yetis know just what to do. They make the warmest, coziest, calmest summer day right at home. <laughs> All right, those are my books for today. And here is the craft. It is a snowman out of a bottle. And it's very straightforward, so I'll just explain it here. Is that first you need a bottle, of course, um, an empty pop bottle, an empty water bottle. I chose these bottles because of this big cap. And then inside the bottle is cotton balls, just to make it all white like a snowman. But you could use white pom-pom balls. You could use shredded white pep paper and stick that in. I chose cotton balls because they're actually very easy to just swoosh in and put them all in tell your, tell your bottle is all white. And then I put my googly eyes on, but you can put whatever other eyes. The carrot nose and the coal smile, I use this foam, but you could also use felt, you could use construction paper. I gave mine buttons and they are buttons. Um, you don't have to do that. You could give them whatever you want. If you want to give them like um, arms, you could take, get find some sticks, just poke a hole, give them arms, anything you want to do with your snowman. The next thing I did was just took some flannel material, cut a long, long piece of it, tied it around my scarf. And then what I really love is the cap on this, um, the, the hat. The cap hat on this, and that was just um, a long strip of felt that I glued around, and then a pom pom for the hat top. But you can make any sort of hat you want. You can even make a top hat. There's a top hat for it. And all I did to make this was I used a teepee roll, I glued the paper around it, cut a circle for the top, and glue that on cut a circle for the bottom for that. And then of course you'll have to cut the hole in, which is the hardest part is cutting a hole in the center of that circle and then glue all of that on. And look, you have a top hat for your snowman. If you wanna do that instead or anything you can think of. Maybe you'll come up with some cool hat or some way to do your snowman, but that's the snowman in the bottle. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you like those funny snow stories. And I will see you on Monday, next Monday. And we will be making a snowstorm in a jar. So you guys have a very happy day.